Yeah. To say. <laughs> so, you know, but dogs, when you come home and that tail wag, oh, it's like the best thing I ever, know. right, guys? Uh, all right, you guys. Well, we are getting a look outside right now at Long Beach, and you will see mostly clear skies. So less fog out there, but the marine layer is still going to be a factor over the next couple of days, especially along the coast. Temperatures still staying above average. Overall, we are heading into a little bit of a cooling trend, especially as we head toward the weekend. And after that, there is some moisture headed our way. Water vapor imagery showing you dry conditions. We're still under a ridge of high pressure, but eventually low pressure moves in from the Pacific. And with that, we are seeing a cold storm system that could bring rain and snow. So we're going to time that out for you in just a moment, but you will see temperatures in the 60s and 70s this evening, a very mild evening out there. 75 Van Nuys, 74 Ontario, 73 in Riverside. As we head to Big Bear, 43, and as we head to Palm Springs, a lot warmer at 87. And wind-wise, things are mostly calm. And temperature-wise, we were at 85 earlier today in downtown. So we were still 5 degrees above average. And just to put it into perspective, yesterday we got up to 86 degrees. So we were only about a degree cooler today. Record numbers 92. We broke records and tied records on Monday. Day, but not the case today. Low clouds and fog spreading inland overnight. Temperatures dropping down to the 50s eventually. And by tomorrow, we're up to the 60s and 70s along the coast and 80s a little further inland. As we check in with Orange County, you'll see right here numbers in the 70s and 80s, 75 in Anaheim, 80 in West Covina. And as we head to Pomona, 84 degrees. And finally, checking in right here. With the Inland Empire, you'll see numbers in the 80s. 85 Riverside. As we head to Lake Elsinore, we are at 83 tomorrow. Palm Springs, a little warmer at 93 degrees. So we do have warm and dry conditions really continuing for the next few days as high pressure holds strong. But then that low starts to move in from the Pacific. And as it does, we are expecting rain and mountain snow widespread Tuesday into Wednesday of next week. Until then, a mix of clouds and sun, warm to hot, especially inland where we're expecting 80s and 90s still Friday being the warmest day inland for your St. Patrick's Day. By Saturday and Sunday, slightly cooler into Monday, but still above average. And then you're going to see by Tuesday and Wednesday, 60s widespread rain in our forecast at least through the middle of next week. And do want to remind you, Monday, the first official day of spring. Back to you. Oh.